what is what is a boutique pedal or a boutique pedal? What does boutique mean? What does boutique mean? I don't know what it means anymore. When I started in 2007, it meant one thing. By 2013 or 14, it meant something else. And today it means something else. So I vividly remember seeing a company. It was, a, I think it was a Chinese a pedal company, like Chinese manufactured. It was a full DSP line digital. They sounded really good. And it said boutique tone. And I remember having this like moment, like an internal moment of just like, what does it mean anymore? You know, like boutique, what does it mean? Now it's a, it's a niche term. And I don't think it means the same thing. Now it's like, a, it's a vague marketing term. It means you can sell your pedals for a higher price. Where it used to mean, like the, I would call like the pioneers. I mean, Mike Fuller in the 90s and George Trips and all these guys. The boutique guys, if you will, or whatever the hell that means now, because it, it definitely is not the same. <laughs> you know, when it was boutique, it was, you know, way huge and full tone and prescription and Zvex. You know, I mean, that was the boutique guys, literally in garages building us. Originally, I, I believe it meant uh, pedals that were made at, you know, or essentially by one person in their kitchen, you know, or in their apartment, um, in their garage, in their workshop. Number one is that it's handmade. So, not pick and place, not off an assembly line. There's a dude or a couple dudes at making this thing. So the classic definition of boutique is a product that is made in a small specialty shop that is specific to that industry or product. Well, boutique definitely means handmade. If, if you're not hand soldering, it's, it's obviously not boutique. But it's also, um, I think, a little just about the, the feel to me, I think there's something more special about boutique pedals. More care given with it. There's more thought process. You don't have millions of dollars to spend on advertising. I remember this quote from David Bowie that I've always repeated that's uh, like product plus personality equals brand. And so there's a lot of boutique makers, whether they're making pedals or beer or whatever that have a very unique brand and kind of personality. It's how you can set yourself apart from the larger kind of faceless corporations. As much as I hate it that we're kind of doing it because I really wouldn't like to kind of connect with that sort of thing to be making something exclusive for, you know, mostly like lawyers and people who are rich to be able to buy. You know, I guess that's what kind of boutique effects are. It's like for like a specialty kind of thing. It's like, what's a boutique automobile or something or a boutique home? It's like not ones that maybe everyone can always get a hold of. And so some of the stuff that we create is, you know, that's at least a little bit of what boutique effects are. But it's also, I guess, you know, when someone's kind of putting this like handmade care into these things and you know, ensure that like things sort of sound the right way and sort of react the right way and can also be built in a really robust fashion, which is gonna last. I think for some people, it means hand-built, built by one person, more quality. Whether these things are true or not, I don't know. It, it varies from company to company. I've seen boutique stuff that's made really bad. And to be really frank, my first stuff from 2007 for a few years, I actually, if I see it out there, I get it back and give people a new pedal because they're made so bad, but they're boutique. And then second wave, which, you know, all probably started in garages as well, but it's the internet's really changed how people are sell things and are able to sell things. It's a totally different landscape. And there's been a little bit more of a boring of the lines between the big companies and the boutique companies. Because now a lot of the bigger guys, like Boss and Line 6, are all starting to get hip to like, whoa, you know, this is how the smaller companies are doing it. And they're like gaining on us quickly. So we need to readjust what our perspective is on like everything. The sounds we're making, the marketing behind everything, like how we're representing it. So it, it can be higher end stuff. You know, we, we, we learn from our mistakes. We've learned from the designs that, that you know, in the end we want to make better. So I, I think that word is not that negative to me. Even though we're, we're not a small boutique anymore, we have, you know, 6,000, 8,000 square foot, and we 
make our own circuit boards now. We do everything in-house. So it's not like the guy sitting there in, in his basement or in his garage, you know, building them with his buddy. No, it's not that boutique, but it's, it's the same in my mind. I know I'm just as excited as he is. <laughs>